Hello my friends, today we are back on Luminar Neo and we'll continue with our mini series of the functions of Luminar Neo. We're going to do a deeper dive today at the Erase tool. So, Erase tool, it's meant, if you go in the Edit panel, it's located right over here and it's meant for erasing things in your picture, removing power lines and dust spots and this is the two actions that I will be focusing on today. So let's see, we'll start, let's start with a pretty, maybe easy image where we can see the power line clearly. We'll try with this one first. So we'll go to edits, we'll go to erase, and we'll click on this button that says remove power lines. taking a little bit of time and there we go well it didn't do that great of a job it seems like it removed a lot of my poles too and stuff so let's see the before and after button over here doesn't seem to be working I'm clicking on it on the eye over here and when I click to see the preview I don't see anything but I will use this one at the bottom which is the before and after of all the edits so that was the before and that was the after. So you see we're missing a whole bunch of information here. And where the lines were in the sky, we have all kinds of smears and trails. So in this case, if you would want to restore the poles, you would pick a brush and let's see, we'll go to paint on it. So let's see, I want to restore that one and this one. And I'll say restore. And it brings it back pretty well. Let's say I want to delete these little parts over here. I'll use my brush, I'll make it smaller. And let's say, we'll go like this and say erase. And it removes it. It did leave some blotches there. Now it's important when you do this kind of, um, oh, erase. It's important when you have all these AI functions to understand that there is not a one click fix. You cannot just push a button and expect to magically work perfectly. You always have to do some work afterwards and fix some things. So I did expect it more than this though. I expected a little bit better results. Let's try a different image. I apologize for the background noise. We have a construction going on. We're building an addition. Let's use this one. The power lines are a little bit, uh, faded but should be pretty clear there's nothing else in the sky no clouds or anything like that let's go back to erase remove power lines this should be a pretty easy image to fix and let's see oh that button still doesn't work it did pretty good it removed a little bit part of here but i mean it doesn't really bother me before and after, before and after. Let's see if we just bring back that part over there and say restore. There you go. Now we brought that back. So for this image, it looks like it worked really well. I don't see any smears in the sky. Everything went great. The clear button, if you're ever wondering what this do, is once you make a little selection with your brush, you can clear the selection by pressing that. Let's choose a different example. Let's choose something more complicated. Let's see. Um, let's do this one. We'll go to edit. We'll go to erase and remove power lines. I guess it's going to have some trouble with this because you want to know where to cut and what where not. And there you go. I kind of missed all of these ones in here. Let's see the before and after before and after. So it did a good job, but not all the way. It didn't find all the power lines, but the ones that did remove, it did a really good job. Let's choose one more image. What do we want? This one is going to be a difficult one to find just because they're kind of blurry in the background. The colors kind of blend together, but let's try it. Erase, remove power lines. And it did pretty good. It removed some little parts of the post here. 
but we can bring those back if we want to. If not, we can just leave it like that. I think it's, you know, totally okay. So it didn't do too bad. It did better than I thought it would do. Let's try one more just to try to trick it as much as we can. This one, this one has clouds in the background, so it's not a clear sky. So maybe this one will have a little bit harder time. I bet it's gonna miss this ones in the background here. They're very faded. Let's see. Still thinking, there you go. Well, actually it took the ones in the background too. It did, just like in the other ones, remove parts of the posts. Like if you look over here, we're missing big chunks of it. But we can restore that. Oh, over here too, we're missing the whole middle. So we would have to use our brush and bring all of this back, which is not hard to do. We'll go to restore. And there you go. And then we can bring some stuff in here back too. You get the idea. Let's look into the dust remover spots. And for this one, I'll have to admit, I couldn't really find uh, much images because I'm very good at cleaning my sensor all the time. So I don't really have a lot of dust spots on my images, but I have this image over here. It's not a great image or anything, but I did notice a dust spot. It's right over here. Let's zoom in so we can see. So this is my dust spot over here. And we'll go to erase and click on remove dust spots. The reason why I clean my sensor so often is because I hate removing dust spots. I, don't, I hate finding them. so. I just clean my sensors a lot and it completely removed it. So that function worked really well for the one example I had. That's it for today. This is the erase tool. I hope this was helpful. Um, we'll do a mini series every day. We'll take one function from the Luminar AI. We'll dive into it and try to trick it, push it to the limit, see how it can handle it. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.